Well, after several days of traveling on the track, I think we're finally here in Alaska. It's been a long journey, and I'm, I'm happy to finally be in the great state of Alaska in the Aurora Falls region. So we did need to drop off James. Uh, we had to send him back to Lake Valley to supervise the construction of our, our new maintenance area. We have a... We're building a uh, inspection pit so we can rebuild and and maintain our our engines and rolling stock a little a little bit more efficiently. So he went back to check that out instead of coming up here with with us to Alaska. We're a little short-handed right now. It's just Dolan and I, and I think uh, we should be meeting Ovon the Wise. We sent him up here a few weeks ago to finalize the deal sign some papers and that sort of thing take a good look at some of the rolling stock and the locomotives that we purchased I haven't really heard from him so I, I hope he didn't get eaten by a bear or get it mauled by a moose or something like that up here you never know He's, he seems like the person who can take care of himself he should be okay <laughs> I believe in him <laughs> What I can't believe in is how long it took to get here. I know. It took a long time. A lot longer than I was planning on, for sure. It's cold. It's raining and wet and windy. It's it's not, not very good, but beautiful country so far. I wish I, I would have brought some more clothes. <laughs> I wonder where that goes. Yeah, I don't know. They I know did they're... say they built some, but yeah, they 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 built some some track to to some lake or something like that, and they have a couple of factories or something. I'm I'm not even sure really. We'll find out when we get to the town. There's a, a little boom town, I, I believe, up ahead here called Nugget Town. So hopefully we'll we'll find out more there. That's supposedly where where Ovon is. Oh, there's a rail yard. Oh, okay. Well, we probably want to. Is it Boom Town? Is, do you see a town? I don't think they set their switches properly. <laughs> They're just as bad as us. We'll pull off onto one of the the lanes here. And then we'll just run this this car to where it needs to be taken. Yeah, we gotta get the food to the distribution center. Gotta find Nugget Town and feed the people. Alaskan Supply Service. Yes, yeah, so that's that the name. Seems like it was deliberately. 
that's the name of the railroad that we purchase, the Alaskan Supply Service. I'll go ahead and set that break. Disconnect this link. I'll step up on the platform with you. Seems like the rain stopped for a little bit. Yeah, we might actually get a break in the rain. Looks like here's a boom town if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Kind of janky track, huh? A little bit. We got four little, or, we have four little homes, it looks like. And then we'll slowly come to Nugget the Town. Alright, we'll get this offloaded. I can open the door. I gotta say, guys, it's really nice to see you all again. Hey, Ovon, how's Alaska? It's going all right. It's going all right. Nice. We, we got pretty much all of that paperwork squared away for you, boss. There's just a few more copies that gotta get signed, but it, pretty much it's 90% your name. You can go ahead and start operating today if you want to. Fantastic. Well, we brought a load of food. I heard that they were all kind of hungry up here, and we left. We found a, a rail yard up the hill there, so we're gonna. We, we dropped a train of coal and cordwood up there, so hopefully it can be put to use. All so, right. Yeah, no, that sounds good. How's the ass? Uh, their namesake precedes them, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it would appear as though they've lost their star engine in a, as I was told over a game of cards, freak accident oh so, okay yeah yeah i heard it was hit by an avalanche or something like that and has been buried in a snowbank all winter well it's either an avalanche or the empty cases of whiskey i keep finding everywhere but one or the other yeah oh yeah that makes a lot of sense well it's a defunct railroad that we purchased for a song so uh what should we do? Should we go try and find that uh, that locomotive, or what? What do you? I what think do you suggest? it's definitely worth the effort. Okay. Uh, I don't know much about it. They didn't really have any paperwork on it, but I was told it was a pretty heavy-duty locomotive for whatever it cost. So, okay, it's definitely going to be worth trying to dig out. Perfect. Okay. Well, I saw. Him. A maintenance of way train back up at the yard or what looks to be one do they want us to take that as well we might as well hook into it i mean it's part of the railroad now so i guess it's part of our property it could help us out a bit yeah all right i agree so i guess let's just back up the the road here and we'll ditch this uh ventilated box car and hook up to that yeah. train sure thing all right Ovon, have you heard of the, any of the industries around here needing anything else? Uh, nothing crazy, no. Um, a little bit here and there, but uh, they're definitely going to be running out of supplies soon. That's for sure. There's enough of a boom going on right now that I can't imagine them holding out for too awfully long. Okay. We'll have to uh, ask around and, and figure out exactly what it is that they're in need of. I'm sure it's nothing we can't handle, though. Yep. I agree. So the story about their locomotive seems sketchy. Well, if the locomotive exists, um, it'll be a great asset if we can get it repaired. Get it rescued oh. and repaired. Yeah. My, uh, the story I was told is the fellas that were operating it came back to town 
with their proverbial tails tucked between their their legs and slow down. They couldn't really get a straight answer out of the guys as to exactly what happened. So, every time somebody mentioned the word avalanche, everybody else chuckled, so... <laughs> I think we should probably turn around. Uh, if you want to pull forward, Dolan, uh, let's put it on this turntable here. And we'll hook up to the other end of this. Yeah, we're going to have to hook up to the other end of it, this this train here. Oh, I see some rolling stock over here. Let's see, what's, what do we got in here? Oh, uh, it's an old maintenance away car. They apparently used it for moving crew around and doubled up as a caboose sometimes. Oh, yeah. And, oh, we have to have a snowplow. Yeah, we got a couple of snowplows. Perfect. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Gu I'm guessing we get a lot of snow up here, don't we? Oh, yes, sir. Quite a bit. In fact, this whole place was pretty much snowed in when I first got here. Wow. Would it be best to bring one along? Oh, I don't think it's going to be too bad where we're heading, uh, based on the information I've been given. But I think if we're going to do much more exploring, uh, then we definitely are going to need one. Oh, they got some water tank cars here. That's good. Yeah, from what I hear, apparently the gold industry in this area requires an absurd amount of water. Interesting. Do we have a Lincoln pin in? I think we do on the tender. So uh, there is not one on this, uh, this car. Whatever this car is, it looks like a baggage car of sorts yeah i've been getting a fair amount of mail up here with all the new folks moving up here it's been a real pain trying to figure out where it all goes apparently though nice well it's a, it's a growing economy so hopefully we can make Very true hopefully we can make our our fortune here as well we should oh. have one of these back home yeah go ahead keep going it did not sound... It did. Okay. We should have one of these back home. I'm surprised we don't have one yet. Yeah. Well. well. We're getting big enough. We might need one sooner or later. Right. I mean, I'm pretty sure we we have all our industries connected now. All, all right. right. Are we ready to go? I believe all so. All the brakes are knocked off. She's ready to roll. All right. I thought the rain would have held off. <laughs> yeah, it started raining again. That's Alaska. That's yeah, fun. unfortunately, the weather's quite unpredictable up here. Alaska in spring. I hope we don't have to refuel before we get up there. Why is that? Oh, our tender is low. Not entirely, but low. Well, that's a long ways up here. How are we doing on We're water? A long way back whenever we do end up going back. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to fuel it up again. Oh, now, there's plenty of lumber up here, so it shouldn't be too hard to find a place where you can get some more logs. Yeah. Oh, well, this is pretty. Yeah. I haven't seen a bridge done like this in a long time. <laughs> Let's say we did a bridge like this back in... Ooh, before Pine Valley kicked us out. 
we kind of did the steel trust bridge back in the uh, on the coal mine route. Yeah. Yep. And the first time I ever saw it, then we got told to leave. Yep. <laughs> ah, good riddance. Looks like we got track going underneath us here, so... But we also got track, looks like, heading that way. Did they give you a general direction, Ovon? Well, they said opposite the dredge, and I got somebody else to tell me that... Well, I believe it's to your right is the dredge, so I believe we need to go to the left. Let's go check out the dredge. See what that uh, that is all about. Maybe they need uh, need some help. Sure. Go see what they need. Maybe we can work out a deal. Yeah. Our track is not set for the dredge, is it? Nope. It's been a long time since I've ran a maintenance of wave train. It's on my old railroad before I joined the AD and D. <laughs> to be fair, we kind of built up in a way that, you know, assured some level of quality. We haven't really needed one yet. Yep. I see a lake ahead of us. And a random track going off to the right. Yeah. Looks like looks like it crosses the river. Or lake. Yeah, it's a lake. Oh, I see a dredge. Way off in the oh, distance. Well, hopefully the track goes by it. Nighttime seems like it's on the horizon. Yeah. Well, it is spring in Alaska. You guys haven't seen a night sky until you've seen one up here. Yeah, I heard oh, that. How long have you been up here? Well, about a week, week and a half so far. Took me a little bit to get up here, same as you. Yep. I heard the night sky here in Alaska is something to behold. Mm -hmm. I keep trying to find a way to put it in words to write back home to family, but I, I just can't think of the right words to describe it. It's just something else. Oh, here we are. Bring it to a stop at the platform. Yeah, let's uh, get out and talk with them. See what we can possibly do for him. Introduce ourselves. So after talking with them, it appears that they need some steel pipes and coal and tools. And uh, in return, they want us to haul away the gold ore that that they're uh, they're collecting in their sluice boxes. So, what we're going to do with the gold ore, they said something about a stamping mill where we can separate out the gold from the rock. They said it's just up the track. The track's been completed up there. So, I guess maybe that should be our next stop? Sounds good to me. Okay. Let's go that way, then. Let's put some fuel in the engine. How's our water doing? Water's doing pretty well. They are happy to actually see a different locomotive with a different name, company name, on the track. Said that the ass uh, kind of lived up to their namesake. So, Yeah, the one time I met one of them in town, they were trying to pick up supplies that apparently were never delivered. Oh, fantastic. Oh, it's a, it's some 
It's a pretty little waterfall. Yeah. Wonder where that comes from. Probably from hey. those. Probably melt from the top of the mountains, to be honest. That's kind of what I was thinking. Is our track set to go back the other way? Yes, it is. Perfect. I know we'll have to stop at that other Y coming up here before the bridge. Yeah, because we're on that track that's right ahead of us, right? Coming down? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see where we're at. We're going to go underneath that same track that we were on coming down the hill. Yeah, it would appear so. I understand where we're at now. You know, the first time somebody drew out where the track was for me, I just assumed they couldn't draw a straight line. But now that we're out here, <laughs> it really does just kind of go all over. Yeah. Well, the, the train does look pretty rough, rugged. Well, unfortunately, it would appear that the accident involving the larger engine that we're looking for did happen uh, at the start of the previous winter. So it's been outside for a while in the elements, so I'm sure that it's going to look rough even compared to these cars. Oh, great. Well, hopefully it's not too far gone. Uh, we can get it repaired or whatever we need to get it done. Hope we don't have to just scrap the whole thing. Uh, as long as it didn't blow up, I don't see any reason as to why we'd need to scrap it. I mean, it was so new when they crashed it. I mean... Yeah. Ovon, did they speak to you about the ruling grade? No, uh, every time I asked what the steepest grade was, they'd kind of lean forward or lean back and then just giggle, so... <laughs> oh, great. Now we know who we're dealing with. <laughs> this is going to be fun. What did we get ourselves into? <laughs> I mean, it was... A... They kind of offered it to us, so... <laughs> Well, let's be fair, if, if, this is half, if it's half as lucrative as we think it's going to be, we can probably afford to redo some tracks if there's some spots that are quite bad. Yeah, I hope so. Yep, I agree. We're getting into the mountains now. Yeah, we're starting to get into some snow. Hopefully, the snow's not going to be covering the tracks. That might be a problem. Maybe we should have brought a snowplow. Oh, Please, dear Lord, don't make it snow. The, pi the pilot on the front of this engine surely can push through whatever little still up here from spring. Yeah. I don't know, Ovon, you said that there's pretty nasty winters up here. There can be. Do you know if uh, the former crews ran any trains up here recently? I do know that they ran a single train up here about three or four days before I arrived. Okay. And I'm guessing they just didn't have the material nor the time to get the, lo the locomotive back that they lost? Well... They more or less came up here to deliver some goods as well as scout it out for themselves, which is why I suspect so many of them were laughing every time I brought up wanting to know what had exactly happened to it. 
We got some diverging tracks coming up, boys. I say we go right. All right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, that's a nice little valley in between there. The big cutting. So yeah. Sure those, it looks like for the river. Yep, I see a river, some water in there. I don't know, this cap's pretty warm to me. <laughs> that's why I came up here and stood on the platform that, even though Ovon's got that the- That firebox to keep you warm. Ovon's got the fireplace back there nice and toasty, but up here it's, it's a little bit wetter. Can you see Ovon's little head poking up in the... <laughs> <laughs> How's the view from back there? <laughs> Pretty great from back here. If we're headed in the direction I think we're headed, we're probably vaguely pointed in the direction of, I believe, the stamping mill. Well, that's good to I know. Don't, I don't really know how the stamping mill works, but I am aware that it requires a fair amount of water. Oh. Well, it's a good thing there's a bunch of snow on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting to climb again. Oh. I was wanting to pull the reverser back towards me to see if we would get more speed, but that's not happening. We gotta stick with our 17 mile an hour. Yeah, it seems kind of steep. I would guess that's probably 2%? At least, yeah. Looks like we got a, a switch ahead of us. Which way is it pointing? Can you tell? Uh, we I are think going, it pointed going to the left. To the left, yep. Ah, I guess we just stay to the left. Now you met the uh, interesting fellas from down at the dredge. Yeah. But uh, I hear that sometime in the next few weeks here, there's supposed to be some uh, some real carpetbaggers coming up from New York City. I think they know what they're doing. Apparently going to set up some kind of a legitimate mine up here. I can't even imagine trying to cut into the side of these mountains. Yeah, those... Oh. Well, you know, a di proper amount of dynamite, you can make anything happen, right? And this is true. I'll, I'll gladly support them if they pay for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's let's yeah. pull to a stop here. Looks like Caldera and Co. So yeah, let's check out this. Oh, this is the stamping mill. Okay. See where stuff comes. Wow. In. Yeah, they described it to me. It seemed like it was quite a fascinating place. Yeah. Hello down there. This whole <laughs> building is a giant machine. Yeah, normally you only get stuff like this in the big cities. It's kind yeah. of interesting seeing this out in the middle of nowhere. There's a giant coal-fired <laughs> boiler here. Stationary. So it looks like the the gold ore gets poured in here with the water. It flows down here, gets hammered up, then stirred up. Then the gold is separated from the waste rock. Interesting. 
my understanding is they use uh, the weight of the gold itself to help separate it out from the waste material, which is why you have those multiple basins requiring so much water. Oh. Yeah, so gold must be heavier than the rock. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, or at least once you break it down into a small enough piece, since hence the uh, the hammers up the top there, and sounds like they need some some cord wood and some coal to fire their boilers, the gold ore, and the and water. If we head upstairs. We bring yeah gold ore. Yep. And the water. And so then they give us the refined gold, right? Correct. All right. Well, it looks like this track just kind of loops around and goes down the hill. So here's that why I think we want to take a right here. So if you can come to a stop, I don't want to jump out and fall to my death. So I'm going to have to try and climb the front of the, the locomotive here. Give you a little extra braking power back here. Perfect. We're good. Clear head. All right. Yeah. Let off the brake. All right. Yeah, so keep an eye out for this uh, stuck locomotive. It I was kind of hoping to find it by now. Uh, I think we're getting close to where it's supposed to be. Oh, okay. That is assuming I was told correctly. Wow, this is a big river. I'd hate, hate to hit something and come off down. Oh, yeah. And that river. Oh, that's trying a really to, cool waterfall. Trying to fish something out of here would not be fun. No. Oh, here's some steel trestles. Yeah, it looks like they kind of hugged the cliffside. Probably not going to try and get more speed out of Beast. Yeah, you're going to need the torque to get up this hill, that's for sure. Yeah. Does anybody see that up there? I don't see what you're mm -hmm. seeing yet. It looks like some cars. Oh, oh, we might be getting close. Yeah. Oh, I think I, I think I see it. Oh. Hey, come, come to a stop. Yeah. I see a broke down locomotive down there. A bunch of cars. A tender. Oh, yeah. That's got to be it. It has to be. There shouldn't be anything else up here, that's for sure. Let's climb down. Uh, uh, let's pull forward. We're not going to be able to climb down this steep trestle. Let's pull forward and climb down up ahead of us, and we'll walk back to it. Here it is. Looks like we got some... High side gondolas. Must have been hauling coal or gold ore or something. Yeah, it must have been. Here's a look at 476. Goat. Wow. What an interesting name. Well, she'll need some work, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rotten frames. Yeah. Kind of. Rot wood, rusty frames. Well, it looks like we got lucky. Looks like her firebox just burnt out on her own. That's good. Hopefully That's a the set of cab controls, if I've ever seen one, though. Hopefully it yeah. didn't freeze solid in there and bust a bunch of tubes. That'd be bad. Wonder how the tender is. Gonna need hella work. Yeah. Hopefully the tender still holds water after a fall from up there. Yeah. If not, I'm sure I'm sure we can repair it back at Lake Valley. Oh, I'm sure. Just a matter of how much time. 
And if we need a tender replacement, we've got tender replacements. Water no, is completely empty. On the bright side, I don't see any light coming from anywhere, so maybe she is holding. Yeah. All right. All right, well, uh, let's continue on. Let's keep exploring the track, and on our way back down, maybe we can swing by and see what we can do to rescue this equipment. bit of unfinished track here. I wonder where that goes. Or is planned to go. I think this might be the spur that they're planning to run for those city slickers all the way up to the new coal mine of theirs. And there's another switch here. I guess they plan on doing a Y. That would be real interesting with this elevation difference around here. gonna be a real rude awakening for a bunch of city slickers coming out here to uh, the nether regions of Alaska. To be fair, it probably would be a rude awakening for us if we had to go ahead and put all this track down ourselves. We're not exactly used to the snow. Oh, you're, you're right. California doesn't have much snow, does it? No. <laughs> There's the river. Yep, here's a river. Oh, we're at the top of the waterfall. Oh, yeah. I see. That Very first cool. Waterfall. Seems like there's another one. The way the river's flowing down at an angle, seems like it's coming from somewhere. There's got to be a source up here a little farther. We're not at the top of the range yet, so. No. That looks like a sharp curve coming up ahead. Yeah, it does. I should probably, you should probably slow down a little bit. Working on it. Knowing this uh, Alaskan Supply Service Railroad the track could just simply end right in the middle of a river. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> we really don't know how far they got. This is very windy. Yeah, it is. Wow, look at that. Well, once upon a time, they did make it to the gold smelter, because I have spoken with those folks. Okay. Whether or not the track's washed out or not is another question. <laughs> I want to try and pick up a little bit more speed, just seeing if we can make it up. A... Cause it seems like there's a bit of an incline here, but not very much.
All right, looks like we've got a switch coming up. Do we want to follow the river, or do we want to head inland? Which way is the switch pointing? Heading to follow the river is where the... Well, then let's just follow the river. Oh, what's this? What's what? There's a tree branch. Oh. Poking up from the rail, I thought it would derail. Yeah, a little little tree branch. The front truck should clear okay or just break up. Uh, I don't think it'd cause any issues. Oh, now that's pretty. Oh, oh look yeah. at that. Wow. Yeah, whoever laid this track came in here for the cinematics, didn't they? Yeah, they did. They saw this little this little space between the cliffs and oh, there's a uh, industry here. There's smokestacks and this must be that smelter, right? It's got to be. Do you want Should me to loop the... around to make it uh, make a stop, or do you want me to stop here? Uh, you know what? Loop around. Blow your whistle. Let them know we're here. Probably should have done that a while ago, but that's all right. Oh, we stop, 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 stop. We have a, a weird switch here. Let's see, left or right? I'm thinking we should go right. Are we good? All right, we're seems good. Seems so. I like it. That tree seems a little too close. To the two of those trees seem a little close to the tracks. I hope yeah. they'll get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, hopefully... We'll, we'll probably cut them down. Uh, we don't want those to fall across the tracks or anything. I mean, yeah, even I think if that does happen, our pilot would knock them out of the way. But... We chose the right path because that left track just stops right there without a bumper or anything. There's a tree on it. Yeah, there's a tree on it. Oh, and here's another switch that just ends. Looks like they were planning on doing a Y. Yeah. Wonder what's that way? Huh. It's a really good question. Yeah, yeah, let's uh blow the whistle again. Let them know that we're we're coming in and gotta be getting pretty late in the day. Hopefully nobody's like asleep. It right, looks like there's somebody there on the platform. Oh yeah. Probably heard our first whistle. Oh, I would be surprised if they heard our echoes coming up the valley. Good day, sir. This is a smelter. They've asked us to bring them coal and refined gold, and in return, we get uh, gold ingots. So they're doing pretty good, I guess. Uh, they don't need much. So that's great, but they are out here. <laughs> like, like, why this location for a gold smelter is... I guess they need that big waterfall for some reason. Maybe. Maybe they got a water wheel back up in there. Maybe some, some something's going on and we can't see. Yeah. Do you think they'd probably travel all the way back towards Nugget Town just to go, just to live? Though I don't see no houses out here. Okay, well, we'll bring them what they need. We'll bring them the, the gold from the stamping mill and the coal so they can fire up their, their smelters. All right. Is everybody on board? Yep. Yes, sir. On board. Let's go rescue a locomotive.
All right, so we're we're approaching that that uh, broke down, buried locomotive. I'm thinking maybe we should pull the train ahead of where it's crashed. What do you guys think? Uh, uh yeah, I think that's gonna work just fine. Okay. We might have to hike back up the the hill a little bit to get to them. Well, if y'all to... want to go and head off now. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you come to a stop, please? Exit the train to your left. I don't want y'all breaking knees. We can mm -hmm. probably crane these back up to the to the rail. We'll put the the rolling stock on the back of the of the train behind the caboose, and then the locomotive and tender behind that. What do you think, Ovan? Yeah, I think that I think that'll work just fine. Okay. So here we are. We got it hooked up to the to the back of Beast Train. Got the, the new coal cars uh, in front of us. We had to pull the heads out of the cylinders. Uh, that way we don't damage the locomotive any more than it's already damaged. And fortunately, the whole locomotive rolls. Goat seems to be one hell of a large locomotive. So it, it should be very powerful and, and suit our needs here in Alaska quite well. Unfortunately, we're going to have to take it back to Lake Valley and get it working again. So... Yeah, it'll, it'll be heading back to Lake Valley here shortly. We made it to the bottom of the hill. Uh, I think we're ready to continue on. Dolan, if you want to wanna start moving. All right, here we are pulling into the yard. We finally made it down off the mountain. We have goat with us. Got lots of rolling stock. Beast is pulling us. I think it's getting pretty late. I think it's time to call it a call it a day. Yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a very long day. We got a good tour of the. Uh, Alaskan Supply Service Railroad. We kind of got a good idea of what we need to bring from Lake Valley to help support these guys. And we um, we kind of got a good idea of what the track is, what we need to repair, what we need to fix. 
and uh, what we need to extend, I guess. So, what do you guys think of this railroad? Was it a good purchase, or should we just declare bankruptcy and and let it go to go back to the nature? I, I think it's got some potential, but I think there's some major issues we're going to have to replace. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. There's there's some particular rolling stock I think we need to chuck up over a mountain or something. I don't know, but it's it's not the greatest rolling stock in the planet. We can um, push it into the lake. Yeah, push it in the lake, burn it to the ground. Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you. Please remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hit that thumbs up as well. It really helps us out. We are very close to hitting a thousand uh, subscribers, so please help me out. And uh, thank you very much again. With that being said, guys, uh, ready to say goodbye? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I hope you have a great night. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.